What is up, Green is Not Nick fans? Welcome. We are actually shooting this as a live taping for my subathon, which is going on right now if you're watching this after what at least 16 hours after how long I'm, I don't know. If you're watching this at least, let's say, 16 hours after the video came out you're probably I'm, I'm probably still gonna be live come on over to twitch.tv we're doing a uh, up to 24 hour subathon and today we're doing a live recording and editing of the video on stream it's gonna be real fun you can see the chat right here they're all saying hello it's not true i've not killed a man today on stream we are going to be talking about something that i am very passionate about and it's trader joe's uh, a very big grocery chain that's known for their their high quality and decent prices but did you know that trader joe's has different brand names for every single one of their uh different ethnic food groups for example they have different food names for their japanese food for their italian food and you'll kind of understand what i'm talking about when we get there since then those names were called racist and trader joe's insisted that they weren't racist but they proceeded to take the names off a lot of the products so i don't know if these exist anymore but today Myself and my chat are deciding which names are the worst of the worst by putting them in this awesome tier list. Here's the tier list right here with S tier being the worst of the worst with D tier being the tamest names. The first name we're gonna go with is Arabian Joe's. This is the name that Trader Joe's uses on their packaging for their Middle Eastern food, okay? So where are we gonna put this S tier, D tier? We're gonna do a vote by going to the poll and saying, how bad is the name? And there's only two votes. You can either vote bad or not too bad, okay? And we'll see what that percentage lands on. So here is the poll. If you type bad in chat or number one for bad or not too bad or the number two. Some people think it might be a little lazy. Some people might think it's a little out of hand and it should be higher. Poll's been live for about a minute. I'm gonna stop it right there. It looks like we have about 60, 40. And looking at this, I feel like if it was maybe like a 70 or above 60, I'd put it anywhere higher, but I think we're just gonna stick it in B for now because it, you know, things could be much worse. Baker Joseph. This is for a lot of Trader Joe's um, bagels and flour. Okay, we're starting the poll. Not too bad, not too bad. Just Baker Joseph. How much worse could it get? Is it supposed to be Jewish? I'm not sure. A lot of people are saying it's bad as in it's dumb, but it's pretty tame when it comes to the name. A little rhyme scheme for you. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right there. It seems like it's pretty obviously gonna go in in the tame tier because you know We're not seeing a lot of people outraged about the old Baker Joseph But will they be upset about the next one? But will they be upset about the next one? Trader Jos Jos why could I not say that? Trader Jose is for um, their Mexican food, of course. Okay Starting the poll here one if you think it's bad Two, if you think it's not bad. We're about at a 90 to 10% right now. It could get worse. It's at an 87 to 12%. I think, I think I might throw it in the A tier for now. Next up, this is for their beer. It's sort of a German name, Joseph's Bra. I don't know if I'm saying that right. That's not how you say it. I assume it's not how you say it. A lot of people are saying it's not too bad, not too bad. It's looking like it might be in the, in the tame section with Baker Joseph. And I'll finish that one there because I don't, we don't need to take any longer than we need to. It's going to go down in the D tier, not too bad. Does it feel weird to be ranking names based off of how problematic or racist we think they are? Maybe it is, but you know, we're in too deep at this point. I blame Trader Joe's or Trader or, oh, that's not going to work with this one. Pilgrim Joe's. This is uh, apparently according to the article I looked at. It is for New England specialties like clam chowder, but I'm pretty sure it's for Thanksgiving food. This is uh, a, for a pumpkin pie ice cream. I don't know why it says New England specialties. Put a one in the chat for bad, put a two in the chat for not too bad, maybe. Sort of a colonizer type situation. A lot of people are saying it's really bad. Not a lot of people like it. Right now it's in the 80-20. I think it's gonna have to go in A tier, guys. I know 87 was an A, but you know, 64, uh, you know, 75 to 24 is not really in the middle, you know? This is for a lot of their supplements. It's Trader Darwin's. I don't know if anyone can explain to me what this what this means. I'm not really sure. Like Charles Darwin, because he's a scientist. <laughs> Okay, because it says survival of the fittest. Okay, people are saying Darwin was kind of a messed up guy. Um, a lot of people are talking about Darwin from the amazing world of Gumball, but I'm seeing a lot of not too bads. It looks like it might end up in the D tier. 
Um, it's just pretty dumb. I'm thinking we're going to end up in the D tier with this one. Someone said, wasn't Darwin into incest? Trader Giotto's for some of the Italian food out there. Someone says, I am a quarter Italian. Oh my. Trader Giotto's looks like it's kind of having a tug and war back and forth. We've got a lot of bads. We've got a lot of not too bads. Someone said, I cook at the Giotto. That was a good Italian accent. Someone said, I'm only an eighth Italian and this is offensive. It looks like we're at a 50-50 here, folks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it there and I'm going to put it right in the B tier. It looks like we're going to France with Trader Jacques. I don't know if that, uh, Trader Jock. <laughs> Listen, guys, what the heck? I was in Spanish class, okay? I also didn't know how to say Jose, apparently. I think we might end up putting in the C tier because we're all running out of space in the D tier and this so far, you know, I think it has enough to put it in the C tier. I'm throwing that one in the C tier. Next up, <laughs> this one's for Trader Joe's, uh, Japanese food, Trader Joe-san. <laughs> how do we feel about Trader Joe-san? This one is for some uh, wasabi peas. So far it's 100% bad. I have a feeling I know where this one's gonna be voted. And right now we're at a 97%. I'm just gonna throw it up there in the S tier. It looks like Trader Joe-san right now has the lead by a freaking margin. A lot of votes came in very fast in the first 30 seconds, but there you go. Okay, we only have a couple left. This next one, Trader Johans. Am I finally saying one of them right? This is for their lip balm. I don't really get it either. Someone said I said it right. Someone else said it was Joanne. I don't think it's Joanne. Yeah, a lot of people are saying not too bad. This one's gonna be in D tier, which I think will push. Which one do we put from the tamest back into C? Yeah, I think the German one, cause that's the one that's like not just a name, it's like a country. And finally, and finally, the last one is for their Chinese food, Trader Ming's. <laughs> what do we think about Trader Ming's? This is on a package of uh, Trader Joe's Pad Thai. And I'm gonna start the poll now and see what people think so far with 15 votes. Only one person I think so far that has said that it's not too bad. Doesn't even sound like the name Joe. And I think that really does cement it to tie with Trader Joe Sans in the first spot. Here's our final tier list guys. At the worst in S tier, we have Trader Joe San and Trader Mings. In the A tier, Trader Jose and Pilgrim Joes. B tier, we have Arabian Joes and Trader Giotos. C tier, we have Trader Jacques and Joseph's bra. I don't know how to say that. And in the tamest D tier, we have Baker, Joseph's, Trader Johans, and Trader Darwin's. Thank you for coming along on this trip with me for uh, experiencing the first live recording of a second channel commentary video. If you're watching this and it's still Friday, maybe even Saturday, come on over to the stream twitch.tv slash Nick is not green and see if you can catch some of the fun we're having. It's going to be a good old time. You can win some prizes. You can watch me do some fun stuff like eat that cereal back there or build that Lego set. It's going to be a good old time. And comment below if you're currently watching the stream as well. Thank you, everybody. Love you all. Goodbye.